here with what's hot on CNBC TV 18. One sector that has borne the maximum brunt of the current downturn is real estate. Lack of demand and banks unwilling to lend to real estate developers have resulted in few transactions. And that's why this is perhaps one sector most cheered by the repo rate cut announced by the Reserve Bank. On what's hot tonight, we ask, will the rate cut revive the real estate space? To discuss this, we're joined by Niranjan Hiranandani of the Hiranandani Group and Ravi Ramu of Purvankara Projects. Gentlemen, many thanks for joining us. Mr. Hiranandani, let me start by asking you, this is the fifth time since October 2008 that the RBI has actually cut the repo rate. How much of this is actually going to translate into a revival on the ground? Because the last quarter was a disastrous quarter with sales across the board falling by about 90%. Have you seen any sort of revival in January and February, sir? Uh, yes, we have. Uh, if you take a place uh, the, which is the suburbs or on the outskirts of Mumbai, a place called Thane, We've seen about 500 apartments approximately being sold in the last 45 to 60 days. Uh, that is January, February. So I think uh, we do see a revival of sorts. I don't know whether it's uh, an aberration in terms of starting too early and maybe having a, a hiccup before it really takes off. It's difficult to judge that. But certainly there are some starting signals which I'm seeing on the ground and there are real sales on the ground to actual users. So I think there's a positive sign of sorts which has already happened. <coughs> Uh, Mr. Ramu, let me come to you. You know, the criticism of the real estate space has been that in spite of the fact that there's been a complete collapse in demand, prices haven't been reduced much. We've now seen DLF take the first step, reduce prices in uh, across projects by 20%. Is that something that uh, you'll be doing as well, aggressively? Well, I think it's not just, uh, Vivian, about uh, reducing prices and hoping for the best after that. It's a question of a mindset. I think the home buyer is being told, it's being dinned into him and her, that this is not the right time to buy. Wait for things. Wait for what exactly? Nobody knows. But people are waiting. People are also waiting because they're not sure of their jobs. So I think both in terms of a specific home buyer situation and the economic security that a home buyer has, things have been pretty difficult. Uh, let's admit that. In terms of uh, what's going to happen in, uh, uh, as a result of this uh, rate cut, I think it's very simple to see that the government is trying its best, except that these 0.5% should now translate into 1, 1.5%. Let's face it, Indian interest rates are the, just about the highest in the world. Corporate loan rates are in the double digits, and uh, so also are home loan rates. We need home loan rates at 7%, uh, at best about 8% if you want to look higher. But below that, things are not going to improve. So uh, I, I think these are steps in the right direction. It's not uh, time for the home buyer to start singing uh, happy days are here again. But I think it's time that they can start humming the tune at least. Right, but Ravi, uh, you know, answer the question that Ruben is actually trying to ask you in terms of actually renegotiating prices with customers. We've seen developers like DLF going in for 20% price cuts. Are you at Purvankara actually reducing prices at this point in time? Are you looking at reducing prices at this point in time? Shireen, all of us have done it, uh, hook, line and sinker, if you like. Uh, we have uh, talked to individual customers. We have said we'll give them never before uh, bargains and rates we have advertised to that effect but at the end of the day you know these are these two factors that we spoke about what the buyer is hearing generally in the environment one and two even more importantly the insecurity that is surrounding a buyer both in terms of their own family and their economic circumstances once these things improve okay. i think as i said it's time for uh, things to really unfold for us all right, Mr. Hirandani, let me ask you, has there been any change as far as the liquidity squeeze that developers have been facing? We also understand that certain developers, DLF, Unitech, for instance, have managed to have certain loans restructured. Have you, for instance, as Hirandani, managed to restructure any of your loans? And what is the liquidity position as far as developers are concerned at this point? Uh, we haven't uh, restructured any of the loans because we've been able to pay them on their due dates and we have been able to repay all 100% of the uh, loans that we are coming due within these couple of months. So we don't have those issues in terms of restructuring or resetting those loans. 
But having said that, yes, there have been issues in terms of uh, trying to get the new projects off the ground. They're taking a little longer, taking a little longer to get the new loan sanctioned. Yes, that's what's happening on the ground level. But it's not that it's not available. I think the banks are now coming back to us and saying, yes, that we are ready to give it. And some of the banks have actually sanctioned additional loans to our companies in the last couple of weeks. And uh, I think at the moment we are quite easy as far as... Uh, credit is concerned. I don't think uh, we have too much more requirement for the next six months. So I think we are quite easy at Hiranandani at this point of time in terms of liquidity. We've been able to get adequate credit, both from the banks as well as from our customers who have purchased our products. Uh, Mr. Hiranandani, uh, you know, one uh, thing that most developers have been saying is it's a question of sentiment. It's not a question of prices. What do you think now needs to be done by the RBI, by the government? Is there anything at all they can do to try and build up sentiment and perhaps bring back demand? Yeah, you know, it's like advertising. Suppose you put 100 holdings on a, for a particular project. You don't know which holding is actually conducting the final sale. When you have to turn the market, which has gone so bad, where internationally the seal is depressing, uh, Indian conditions are bad, liquidity conditions are bad, every segment, sub-segment of the market is in crisis, uh, you really have to continue to do something in order to change the market scenario. You can't say whether it's the, the first... Uh, a thing which the Reserve Bank did or the Finance Minister did which has made and brought about the change or is it the Reserve Bank uh, or is the State Bank giving 8% loan is what is really brought about the change. My view is personally you need to continuously keep hammering these changes give on improvements from time to time, improve the liquidity positions, help the buyers, help the market scenario and I think at a particular point of time it just clicks. Uh, we never expected large number of sales in Thane in the last uh, two months. We have had that. As I said, I'm not too sure that's really the beginning of the change. I, I personally feel that somewhere between April and June, you're going to see the markets pick up, uh, not in a tremendous sort of way during the boom time, but you're going to see a pickup of actual users in the marketplace because I think the negotiations have come pretty close to the bottom and I don't think there's any scope more to negotiate anything further. I think the buyers are now seeing this in the ground and thanks to the banks and financial institutions, because loans are becoming more easily available to them, I think they're trying to close the deals. All right. On that optimistic note, you're expecting demand to pick up between April and June. Mr. Hiranandani, Mr. Ravi, Ravi Ramu of Purvankra, many thanks for joining us discussing this debate. Well,